It's the 18th meeting all time between Notre Dame and North Carolina. The Tar Heels, though, they won just once. It was back in 1960. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on CBSSports.com. The college football previews presented by AT&T. Let's bring in Spencer Tillman to break it all down. And, Spence, the Tar Heels are back in the top 25 for the first time in seven years. They have four wins. They haven't won more than four games since 2005. They haven't had a winning season since 2001. What should people know about this Butch Davis team? Well, that they're maturing. Uh, I mean, every week they seem to do something special. And even though they may have injuries at their skill position at quarterback, uh, there's a, a, somebody that steps up, whether it's Sexton or any of the other quarterbacks that have been in there. And so Butch has taken advantage of that. Sean John, Sean Drawn, their, their running back, sophomore running back, has really stepped up and given them a running game in recent weeks. So, again, there's a lot to be excited about. Their defense is playing stellar football right now. John Blake doing a fine job with that defensive line, getting pressure on folks. So Butch Davis is in a good place right now. Which could be problems for Notre Dame and quarterback Jimmy Clausen, but he has been playing better the last couple weeks as well. First three games, six touchdowns, six picks. Last two games, six touchdowns, no interceptions. What have you seen from him that says, hey, this is a guy that could be a remarkable quarterback? Well, you and I talked about this at the beginning of the year, and Charlie Rice said that he was going to have to make more quality decisions, and that's exactly what he has done. Uh, a, a benchmark to determine whether or not a quarterback is playing well is after he makes a mistake, you go talk to him like Charlie Weiss has done often and say, look, why did you do what you do? Good quarterbacks not only know how to do things, they know why they do it. And if they can't articulate that to you, it's going to be a problem. You know that he's not processing the information. So I think that the quality decisions uh, have been made, and that's evidenced by the results he's had. Keeping those interception uh, to completion ratio down, the touchdown ratio down as well. And uh, he's a pretty solid quarterback right now. He has been playing very well. The one thing, though, that's been bothersome to Charlie Weiss, and he's talked about it all week, they still can't run the football, Spence. 103rd yeah. in the nation. How much of a problem is that on Saturday? Well, it's, it's going to be problematic because if you can't run the football against this defense, you're going to have issues. Again, uh, we talked about the quality decision that he's got to make a quarterback. That's going to be challenged because this defense in front of North Carolina can get pressure on the quarterbacks. The numbers bear that out. So he won't have the luxury of sitting back there, you know, after a you know, three-step, four-step, and even five-step drop situation just to survey the secondary. Those defense in front four that John Blake's been coaching up can get to the quarterback in a hurry, uh, and he's going to have to get the ball away. Well, that defense leads the nation with 12 interceptions they're getting points off turnovers they're getting points on special teams uh, they're doing all of those things right Brandon Tate that's a name people also need to remember he is the career return yardage leader in NCAA history that's for North Carolina what kind of role do you expect that to play in this game special teams and and returns and, and things like that Special teams will always be huge in games like this. But again, the fact that North Carolina has had some success of late doesn't mean that they're a complete team. And Butch Davis knows that. I've had discussion with several coaches on their staff. They're reluctant to say that they've arrived just yet, but they're awful close. And I think the thing that can put them over and allow them flexibility on defense as well as offense is to have some of those special plays in the special teams game. Because you look at the landscape of college football, as things begin to flatten out and continue to flatten out, What's going to separate you is that third phase that people still continue to ignore, and that special teams play. Oklahoma State had three touchdowns scored in special teams a couple of weeks ago, and so when you look at that, that can be the difference in the outcomes of game. And I think that the North Carolina or South North Carolina can have some success there as well. Yeah, and North Carolina had three blocked punts last week in the win mm -hmm. against then number 24 Connecticut. They're playing with Cameron Sexton still there for the injured T.J. Yates. Who wins this game, Spence? I think North Carolina is going to do it. I think they're going to put another notch on their belt to, to go along with the Rutgers win and the, the first non-conference road win they've had in a long time since John Bonding's day. And it continues on for North Carolina. Butch Davis. <laughs> give him the old good old th Well, you're going political on us. Is it, is it, you're going to give the double <laughs> thumbs up, no new taxes, something like that? Just the one thumb. <laughs> All right. Spen it. Spencer Tillman, thank you very much, sir. We'll see you Saturday afternoon on College Football Today. All right, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. And, folks, don't forget about SEC Live here on CBSSports.com, presented by AT&T. Any game you see on CBS, you see on CBSSports.com, streaming live. You get two this week. Two thumbs up. LSU in Florida at night, Tennessee and Georgia during the afternoon. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.